Roger Federer vs. Ryu Albot live stream, image, Getty, Federer is playing for the 18th time at Miami Open, where he has won three times. Last weekend, he was beaten by Dominic Thiem in the Indian Wells final but the 37-year-old says he is happy with his level of performance currently, it was a pity to lose to Dominic Thiem. But it's how it goes, so I just have to keep plugging away and hopefully give myself some opportunities, the important thing is to be healthy, happy playing and that's exactly how I feel right now sitting here in Miami, should Federer win, he could face close friend and compatriot Stan Wawrinka in the next round. Federer beat Warinka on his way to the Indian Wells final and the 20-time Grand Slam champion says he would prefer not to play his fellow Swiss so soon, I prefer not to have him in my draw. I prefer to never have him in my section, but it is what it is, Federer said, as a player, I think you always look at your first couple of rounds, so yeah I know that there's a chance there and a possibility, so we'll see what's going to happen. But it's definitely not ideal that we're maybe going to play each other in back-to-back -back tournaments. Coverage of Roger Federer's match against Ryu Albot is being broadcast on Amazon Prime Video. This year, Prime Video will broadcast on-site live studio coverage across tournaments, including at the BNP Paribas Open from Indian Wells, the FIFA Tree Championships from the Queens Club, the US Open, and the NITO ATP Finals from the O2. On-site field reporters will bring customers the latest action, analysis and commentary right from the courtside at many tournaments. In addition to 37 ATP Tour events in the US Open available exclusively on Prime Video with a Prime membership, Prime members in the UK who subscribe to Eurosport Player through Prime Video channels for an additional £6.99 per month following a 7-day free trial, will also benefit from full coverage of the French Open and daily highlights and live coverage from the men's and women's finals of Wimbledon in 2019.